Visual Studio gives you powerful customizations to help you get to your code faster than ever. And that includes your open code tabs inside of Visual Studio, from sorting, organizing, grouping, colorization, and so much more. There are a lot of ways to help you get to your code files faster. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here I have a lot of files open because I'm working on a large project. Now we can see all of the files that are open here on top, but in fact, I have a lot more open. In fact, let me just go ahead and tap on this little triple dot here. It's gonna show me all my open files that I have. And we can see this program CS file. That's the app host for my Aspire project that I have open. And it's bolded and it's also highlighted here as the open document. Now this is the default way that Visual shows me all my open files, but there's great ways of customizing and organizing them to my preference. So what you wanna do is head over to this little gear icon. And the first thing we're gonna notice is a lot of options, but an option to show tabs in multiple rows. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on this. And what's great here is immediately a bunch of rows are visible with all of my files. And if you're on an ultra wide monitor, for example, this is going to be really great. So you can see all these files across multiple rows. Now, while I do have a lot of files open, I may not want to see them in multiple rows all the time. So let's head back over to the gear. And there's another setting here, which is to toggle multiple rows with the mouse wheel. And all you have to do is hold down the control button and scroll up or down with the mouse wheel to hide or unhide multiple rows. So here, if I go ahead and scroll up with control, scroll up, it minimizes it. If I hit control, scroll down, it will go ahead and expand them. And that's really nice when you want to peek directly in without having to go in to that little triple dot. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and enable multiple rows one more time. Now, there are a lot more options that you can organize here as well. You know, of course, you could drag and drop them around. You know, you could pin them, for example. So it's always in certain order. That's kind of nice, too. But there's a lot more settings as well. So let's go ahead and click that little gear again in Visual Studio. And what we're going to notice is this color document tabs by. And by default, there's no color, just the one that's highlighted because it's open and is up front. But you can actually colorize them by project, file extension, or even provide a regular expression, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and do it by project. And immediately we see all of the color indicators show up inside of Visual Studio. So I can see that the program and the extensions here are both coming from the same specific app host file, and they're, they're now grouped together. The basket files are grouped together here from that project. And additionally, when I have one open, it gets a nice accent color around it. I really like that feature. So you get that other additional highlight, which is really nice. And of course, like I said, you could go ahead and also do it by extension too. So you could easily hop into CSHTML files, razor files, or your C sharp files based on how you like to do it. Okay, those are just some of the ways of seeing it, but what if you have like, I don't know, an ultra wide monitor, for example, or maybe you just don't wanna see those tabs on top. Well, in Visual Studio, you can move them to the left or to the right, which is very convenient. So let's go ahead and put them on the left-hand side. Beautiful. Now immediately, what we'll see is that my pins are still there pinned and I can unpin them. But at this point, all my files are now organized by project and all alphabetized as well, which to me is really beautiful. And I still get that highlighting as well because I still have that colorization on. So that's a nice touch too. Now I can come in, I can change how I want my files to be colorized. So if I want to be by project or by file type, I get to decide as well. But up here, I can also change how I want them sorted either alphabetically or how I open them first or last. So that's a nice based on how you're working inside your files, but you can also group them. So by default, they're grouped by project, but you can also just say, I don't want any grouping at all. So here, I'm just going to go ahead and say, yeah, let's do no grouping and put the last one that I opened there. And of course you can toggle them back on too and sort alphabetically inside them. So really customizable how you want them. Now I love tabs on top. That's just me. I can't help myself. Uh, but there's still more customizations that you can do. You can go into that gear again and then go down to options. And this is going to show you many more settings that we just toggled and a few more too. So you can see here, for example, you can toggle it to the top, left or right, for example. And when you do that, it's going to enable or disable different sorting options and grouping options as well. Now, another one that I really like is the ability to insert the tabs uh, right on the existing tab that's open. So that's a really nice feature too, if you like to work that way. So here you get to customize exactly how you want, including minimum and maximum width, for example. Uh, you can decide how you wanna show the close button and the dirty indicators on them and how you wanna colorize them as well. So if you want all those options in one place, it's there for you. 
And there's a lot more from preview tabs to tool windows and floating windows to really customize Visual Studio to really get in there and explore all of the different options. All right, there you have it. That is how Visual Studio helps you get to your code files faster than ever. What's your favorite way of grouping and organizing and sorting? And if you checked out the custom regex option yet to help you colorize your tabs, you definitely got to check it out and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're here, make sure you like this video. It helps recommend it to other folks using Visual Studio. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you stay up to date with all the videos that we put out right here on the Visual Studio YouTube. I'm James, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks for watching.